guys so the bread that i'm using is martin's potato bread i'm just using one slice it is so freaking good so i took a pan out and now i'm just toasting the bread like this and i have a toaster but i'm so lazy to take it out right now but usually each side is like four or five minutes and don't mind the dirt in the back guys i had to get that clean so while i wait for the bread to be toasted i'm using these avocados from trader joe's these are like the tiny one which i love because it's good for like one serving so tiny and cute so now i have the avocado in the bowl i'm just going to smash it i really like these avocados because they're like so perfect and it's not like too ripe it's still hard you know you want to get some avocados that are like still hard because if you get the soft one you have to eat it right away or else it will go bad so the avocado is going to smash up and then we're going to leave this on the side so the bread is nice and toasted i'm just going to put it on the plate now it's time to get the egg out so just one egg per slice so using the same pan i'm just pouring a little bit of oil so i cracked the egg in but i don't have my tripod so you guys didn't see me crack it in but i'm gonna cover it with a lid for like three minutes so while i wait for the eggs to be cooked i'm just gonna spread avocado on the bread So I spread the avocado and now time for the best seasoning ever, which is this Trader Joe seasoning right here. This is the everything but the bagel sesame. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit. So I sprinkle on a little bit because I like to put it on my eggs as well. So in the morning, I usually like to have coffee and matcha. Today, I'm in the mood for coffee. So I got this cute pitcher where I could mix my uh, coffee in and froth my milk. So it came together with this. Well, it didn't come together, but I bought this. And then they gave me a free pitcher, which was so nice. And yeah, so I'm just using instant coffee. And I'm just going to take like one spoonful. I also got this on Amazon. This is sugar-free vanilla syrup. This is the brand Torani. Hopefully I'm saying it right. And I'm just going to pour half the spoon. And then pour hot water. All right, so I got this cute little mug right here. It's a teddy bear. I got it from Amazon. And I'm just going to put one ice. And this cup sizing is like perfect for my coffee in the morning because I don't like too little or too much coffee and now I'm gonna move this to the side and then start to froth my milk so of course I got almond milk gotta shake it and I also add the sugar-free vanilla syrup to make it like vanilla soup cream from Starbucks I don't know what happened with the audio here, but I usually like my egg runny and not overcooked. I also add everything but the bagel seasoning and of course sriracha because I like it spicy. Alright guys, so for lunch, I'm making a bagel. So, I got this bagel from Trader Joe's. I actually got another one because I really love this. The only thing that I hate about this is that it's not uh, cut in half for you already, so you have to do it. So yeah, so this time I actually brought my toaster down. So I'm just gonna put the bagels in and then just heat it up. So the spread that I'm using is from Trader Joe as well. Can you guys tell how much I love Trader Joe's? But this is the soft spreadable light cream cheese. And this is how it looks right here. And I gotta say, this might be one of the best uh, cream cheese from Trader Joe's. I think I like this more than the Philadelphia one because the Philadelphia one, I really love it, but it's like too heavy and I'm trying to watch my weight, guys. So usually I like to cut scallion into a bowl and then I would uh, put cream cheese in here and then mix it to make it like a scallion cream cheese. So this is how it looks. This part is totally optional. I think I need this much. Ah! Alright, so I forgot my toaster is kind of broken and I need like a chopstick actually. 
to get the bagel out because it doesn't pop up anymore. So it's nice and toasty, just how I like it, guys. So now I'm just taking the cream cheese and spreading it on the bagel. It literally took me like five seconds to spread the cream cheese on the bagel. Usually with the Philadelphia one, it takes a while for me to actually spread it out all over. But this was really quick. I also got salmon from Trader Joe's. I'm about to show it to you guys. But it has a little bit left, as you guys could see. Usually I like to add avocado as well. But I'm kind of lazy and I have a meeting in like 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna eat real simple today. And of course the best seasoning ever. This is Trader Joe's everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend with sea salt, garlic, and onion. The best guys. I put this on everything. So I'm just sprinkling a dash on each side. So simple but so good. So I got my bagel over there and fruits is pineapple. Alright guys, so for dinner, I'm having Trader Joe's Mandarin Orange Chicken. This is like so simple and easy to make. And usually you can add like any type of vegetables you want with it as well or not. It's optional, you know. I usually add like onions, broccoli. And it also comes with the Mandarin Orange Sauce, which you have to put in a separate bowl and heat it up for like a minute or two. And for the side, I got this sesame crunch chop salad kit from Trader Joe's and it has bok choy, cabbage, red cabbage, carrot, sesame sticks, cashews, and nori steamed flakes with a toasted sesame ginger vinaigrette. So I chop up some garlic, onions, and green onions to make it with the orange chicken. So I pour oil into the pan. So I pour the whole bag into the pan. The good thing about this is that you don't have to defrost it. So you could just take it out right from the freezer and just make it. And I realized I forgot to put in the garlic. But you guys see I'll put that later with like the onions and green onions. So I stir it for a bit and then I get a lid to cover it for like about 8 minutes. But obviously you guys have to like check it here and there. Like maybe every 3 minutes stir. So now I'm just washing the salad. And then I place it into a bowl. And then I pour the sauce and topping and then mix it. So once the chicken is a bit golden, I threw in the onions and green onions and the garlic that I forgot and just mix it evenly. And then I pour the orange sauce that I microwave for like a minute or two and then just mix it evenly so the sauce could be coated on the chicken and then here's my dinner guys so my plate i have white rice the orange chicken and salad and it was so freaking delicious i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave any comments down below what you guys would like to see next and subscribe see you guys in my next video you know that you are an existence because you hold a crown you hold a crown hold a crown yeah you hold it down you